Hey guys, what is going on? It has been a while since I have posted anything on here and I'm really excited to be back with another haircut slash kind of color tutorial for you today. Um, I know that y'all really loved the first one that I did whenever things started to grow crazy um, back near 2020. And um, even though I've gone back to a barber, back to stylist since then, um, I've actually been cutting it myself again for about mm, maybe three months, four months or so, and decided to record this for y'all today. Now, the crazy part is that um, I'd actually just cut it about a week ago, but I've decided that I want to go a little bit shorter. And I was contemplating maybe going somewhere and having it get done for me, but I said, you know what, why not? I'll take the risk myself. It's hair. Okay, so I also feel like I need to go ahead and preface again. I am not a professional. Um, I went to cosmetology school years ago, but did not finish. So I am not a professional. Um, I'm not saying you have to use these techniques. I'm not saying this is the best way uh, to do it. I feel like I need to preface in saying that. But if you want to try cutting your hair by yourself at home, maybe this will be helpful for you. Like the last time, I'm going to start out with my Remington clippers. I got this set from Walmart. It came with the clippers as well as the guards that I needed along with some blade oil and a brush. I also have gone ahead and laid out my guards. Again, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing or where I'm going with this. So I've got a two all the way through a six currently. Right now my top is at about a guard seven is what I've used this past time. I might cut it down with a six, not quite sure yet, um, but I've also got my two because I know that I want the shortest portion on my sides and backs to be at a number two guard. All right, so I've put my number two guard on my clippers and I'm gonna start just by going around the very bottom of my hair again not quite sure how far i want to come up yet so i'm just going to start low and then go from there I'm going to go on with my number three and I'm essentially going to do the same thing. Make sure it's good and clicked on. You don't want it falling off <laughs> and um, go around and go up just a little bit more because again, I'm not quite sure where I want to stop this and where I want things to be. Not a hundred percent on that yet. But I also know I'm trying to work a little bit on my shape um, to make sure that my shape is how I want it to be. So now we've got the four blade on. Also, I know that this is a tutorial that says, hey, like, you know, do things the way that I'm doing them to achieve potentially good results. But don't be like me. Have a plan. Have a plan on how you want things to go. You can use these techniques, but have a plan. All right, so we're almost done. So I'm really liking what the shape is looking like. My only other qualm was my bangs. I didn't like that they stuck up some, and obviously I'd rather use 
dang shears, but I don't have those. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. I'm going to pop my sticks on my blade and then I'm going to just gently kind of go down with it and flip it up a little bit to try to thin that area out. Again, I'm not a professional. I know. Don't yell at me. All right, so now that the cut is done, I'm gonna go slap some bleach and color on this and I will be right back. And there you have it, y'all. A nice, fresh cut. I am in love. Went over it, did my bleach, got my color right. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. See you next time.